In this lesson, we are going to work on making our sites responsive. So we're going to uh, work on uh, our headers and side menu. So when we uh, resize our page, we want to take care of this top section and um, make sure that we only reveal things that we need. So if we go into our HTML, and I'm going to expand um, the right section, and I'm going to go into our search and I'll put a new class in there basically saying hidden uh, for small devices and for extra small devices so mobile and tablet so when we resize our screen down to a tablet size our search is gone and it remains gone when we go down to mobile size so we could get rid of this welcome to your administration area um, when we are viewing this in um, in extra small so mobiles, so if I resize this to tablets, it stays there. If I go down to mobile, it's um, hidden. Okay, so, so it's, it's, a le it's less uh, jumbled up at the top section. So let's now see what we can do with um, our navigation. So if I go to um, come up to this section, minimize this and expand that. So we'll start with the navigation title we could hide the navigation title for extra small and small devices. So let's see what that looks like. If we go down to small, it's hidden. Go to extra small, it remains hidden. And um, the next thing I want to do is uh, also um, hide a few other headers. So hold your command or your control key and tap each section so we could edit in multiple places at the same time. So add class, uh, hidden uh, for small devices and hidden for extra small devices. So let's see what that looks like. It's hidden for small devices and uh, extra small devices. Okay, so um, we have to hide the labels also, otherwise it looks a bit strange. So I'm going to do the same. Um, click, command, hold your command key and click in all the different labels we have. Um, click there, click here, unapproved. Um, okay, and that's it. So hidden for extra small and hidden for small devices. Okay, reset the page and there we go. And that, that's that. So it's looking, it's looking much better. Um, we want this actually to be completely hidden when we are dealing with um, mobile devices. So we could use a toggle button instead to reveal it when we need it. Um, but before that, I'm going to add a column. Uh, make it, when it's small, we want it to be one and change this. So when it's uh, small, we want this to be 11. So the ratio is much better now that I've reset the page. So it looks um, as in, it looks neater, more proportional, or proportionate. Okay, there we go. And now we could add, um, we could hide this completely for mobile device and use a toggle button to reveal it when we need it. So if we expand here um, and come come over to this just above our navigation, we we'll say hidden for extra small. Reset the page and that's it, it's hidden. And then it's revealed for different uh, devices. Okay, so that's it uh, for tablet, and that's it for your laptops and monitors, etc. Okay, so this is what we want. We want to have uh, a toggle button that will come up at the top section which we could use when we click on it to reveal our navigation for our mobile devices. So keeping things uh, clean. Um, so I will um, work on doing that in the next lesson. So I'll leave, leave things here so you could take your time to revise and uh, repeat what we've done. And in the next lesson, we'll um, carry on from where we've um, we left off. So. That's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.